This is Larry Anglosano reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb here at AirVenture 2023 in Oshkosh. I3 Aviation is at the show with a new headset-based wireless biometric sensor. It's called the Illyrian 2, and I spent some time at the i booth with Dr. James Runnels for a look. So, um, I'm Dr. James Runnels. I'm um, uh, here at the i booth at Oshkosh 23. Uh, we're very excited to present a new product. It's uh, prototyped. It's coming up for final production, and we think it's going to be shipping sometime in the months of September, October, give or take. Uh, it's the Illyrian 2. And if those of you who know our products uh, know that our pulse oximeter is the Illyrian, it's been a great product. It's a continuously wearable pulse ox that you put kind of right in front of your ear or up on your forehead. It's held in place either by the headset cup or an, uh, a, a forehead headband. And the point is it provides continuous real-time oxygen information to all of our products so that we can fine-tune oxygen delivery and monitoring. Well, now we have the Illyrian 2, and you can take a look at it right here. It is uh, the same concepts with some improvements and some new features. So we have a newer, kinder, gentler sort of a pad. It's, it's even a better material. It'll be even more comfortable on the, on the skin. And then uh, shorter cabling, it still just plugs into basic USB power, which is on the back here. And then all of the magic happens in the, the box here. And this box can go anywhere you want on your headset. It can go up underneath. Sorry about that. Uh, it can go on the side. It can go up on the band. It can go different locations depending on what your configuration is. And what's happening here is the same amount of information and then a whole lot more uh, having to do with your health and biometrics because we're all about monitoring, safety, early warning about problems with the humans in the airplane. So in addition to pulse ox, heart rate, uh, you know, oxygen saturation, uh, all of the things that we've been monitoring, we've also got temperature, we've got uh, heart rate variability, which is a new thing that we're working on. We have a pressure altimeter, so if your cabin altitude uh, rises too high. We have a three-axis gyroscope, so if you become unresponsive and slump forward, we're working on algorithms to help detect. Um, if your head doesn't move for a long period of time, that can be an indication of a hypoxic symptom. So we're, we'll, and the way we're going to alert you is haptic, all right? So if anybody's had uh, a smartphone or a watch or something that vibrates in silent mode or gives you a buzz on your wrist, this does the same thing. When you, when you put it on, it's going to give you a little haptic vibration that you're going to feel all around the bones in the side of your head, your face, your jaw, up even to the top of your skull. And it's a very noticeable but not startling sort of a, a, of a get your attention thing. It won't interfere with your audio. And it will let you know that the system is trying to get your attention. And then based on the number of vibrations or if you look at the app or Health View, you'll be able to get the exact reason why the system wants you to pay attention. Your pulse ox has dropped. Your heart rate has risen. Uh, the cabin altitude has climbed unexpectedly. Uh, carbon monoxide is building up in your cabin. And any of a number of things may be a reason for uh, getting uh, you know, alerts from the system. Uh, all Bluetooth low energy still runs on just simple USB power. Uh, mount to any headset. It's the Illyrian 2 and we're extremely excited about this. It becomes a central focus for alerting and monitoring feedback both to the pilot and feedback to the system. It's, it's coming out at $195 uh, which uh, the original Illyrian is, uh, is 150 It's still a great product. We're still selling them. Uh, the new one's only 195 even with all the extra magic inside, which I think is kind of amazing.